Grandma is coming to eat you. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. go, go. Grandma! Are you looking forward to breakfast with Grandma Maxine? Yes. <laughs> you and Emily can come too. No, it's just me. Emily's got some business. Business? Really? What do you want to eat, Princess? I want Uncle Hawk's spaghetti. <laughs> Uncle Hawk's spaghetti? <laughs> when Emily sprained her ankle and you were in Hong Kong, you asked that contractor to look after her, remember? He kept going over with spaghetti for Maxine. Uncle Hawk's spaghetti is the best. He has the sophisticated palate of a five-year-old. That's how he knows what you like, right? Yeah. <laughs> come, let's have breakfast, come. Have you heard from Uncle Ajay? No. Why would he contact us? He isn't picking up his phone and he hasn't replied any of my messages since last night. That's not Uncle Ajay. And that guy he left with was kind of shady. Maybe he... Stop! OK, I'm sure he's OK. Knowing Ajay, he probably went out to party and met some girl or something. Not the first time it's happened, won't be the last. We're not open yet. What do you want? I just want to go over our conversation on the phone a few days ago. Just in case you don't understand, we came to tell face to face. Keep your mouth shut about us, and we won't tell anyone about your organ trafficking. You know that you're talking to the wrong person, right? Derek has already confessed to it, and he's already paid his time in prison. We know everything. Derek and Dr. Richard took the fall for you. And you and Dr. Richard got something going on, right? Who are you to accuse me of having an affair, Jessica? How did you...? Where did you get all this information from? <gasps> Why must we tell you? So as long as you play nice with us, no one ever needs to know what we know. So we're clear, right, Jessica? No misunderstanding, no pretending you don't know what we're talking about? I want to talk to you alone, Hawk. Anything you this have to say... This doesn't concern you. So, you think you've won, do you? I'll try it lightly if I were you. Derek confessed to it because he wanted to protect his family. If you destroy that, you will have the whole Shelley clan coming after you. So, let them come. What about Yoke? For 23 years, she was your sister. In fact, your mother still thinks of her as a daughter. You can spread all the rumours you want about me, but you remember this. If you take me down, she goes with me. Yeah. Yo is my sister for 23 years. I know how tough she is. She doesn't need you. She survived without you for how many years? The question is, can you survive without her? Looks like maybe you need her more than she needs you. Thank you. Hey, Matthew. Hey, Auntie Mewan. How is Yok? Uh? Did she have a nice birthday? Did you do something special for her? Jessica did a party for her. A party full of her own Jessica Shelley friends. Like that, uh, I don't think she enjoyed herself. Uh, I think I saw her yawning in the corner a few times. <laughs> You know, uh, even though she's not around here, we still celebrate her birthday by eating those extra sweet tau hui. Ah, I still got some more. You help me tap out for her, can? Actually, I have a better idea. Oh. Hey, intrude much? Oh, um, I chill. I just wanted to check on how you were, you know, after seeing the doctor and everything. Oh, that... Yeah, I've been seeing the school counsellor and... Things are getting better. Great. So you want to hang out? Uh, no. Nah, I'm going for a run. Great. I'll come along. You? Run? Yeah, why not? It's healthy. And I want to support you. Do you even have running gear? Sure I do. You know PE attire doesn't count, right? Ew. My PE uniform. Seriously. Give me five minutes and I'll put something together. Maybe ten. Hi. Hi, what are you doing here? 
Do you know we didn't get to celebrate your birthday? Why are we still talking about this? But I heard about this awesome place and you really need to try it. I heard they have the best Tau Hui. With a super special version. Only available in August. Yo, we must go and try this super special Tau Hui. I think you'll like it. I know where this place is. Then what are you waiting for? Let's go. Oh, kinda. That was a workout. I feel so fit. You know, this is just the warm up. We haven't even. No, I'm done. Want to post run snack? Your treat. But. Food! Let's go! Oh, now you can run. I'm motivated. Whatever. <laughs> what? Oh, someone just sent me a grumpy cat meme. We're gonna send it to Emily. She gets such a kick out of. Well, I can't mention Emily's name anymore. Look, she told me that you're looking for the identity of the guy she's seeing. <laughs> the guy she's seeing. That's a nice euphemism for someone who could wreck my family, take my child away. James, have you thought that maybe it's better off not knowing? Why? Why would I be better off not knowing? Hmm? Who is he? What makes him so special that I am better off not knowing who he is? Well, it's not really about him. I've never seen James like this. I don't think he will stop digging until he finds out who you are. Then what do we do? Don't worry. How can I not? We'll come up with something. Maybe we can pretend that I'm seeing someone else. To just throw him off the scent. You know, to reassure him that he won't lose Maxine. Who? What do you believe you or not? We'll have to find a way to make it believable. Hey, Anne. Hey. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were on the phone. It's okay. I was just ending the call anyway. What are you here for? Quan Shelley Foundation Matters. Applications for grants. Oh, are you done? I have another session later. Great. Do you have um, time for a quick coffee? Sure. Okay. Ella, see who's here. Come see, see. Happy birthday, Patricia. A bit late, but better late than never. Thank you. Um, can I eat now? Sure. Bring you here for what then? Isn't it just like last time? You should come back more. Enough for the lecturing, OK? How sweet or not? I can make it sweeter. Ella, do you want to come and celebrate your birthday again? No, thanks. Jay, next year, you must come and celebrate your birthday with Ella, OK? And here, I thought we were going somewhere. What's wrong with the coffee from the pantry? <laughs> Nothing. Damn right, I personally selected the beans from the coffee menu. <laughs> so I take it you want to discuss something then? The guy you're seeing. It's someone we know, someone we're connected to, right? That's why James cannot know, right? And if you tell me who he is, I can at least help you keep it a secret. And you won't tell James? Hey, I've always been in your corner, not James's. Hell, I even proposed to you at your own wedding. <laughs> What more proof do you need? James is your brother. That doesn't mean much in this family. You know, half the time, I don't know whether he's on my side or he's just waiting for the right moment to stab me in the back. Look, and we've known each other since we were kids. All I ever wanted is for you to be happy. Louis? I'm sorry. I won't put you in the middle of all this. And you don't have to keep putting yourself on the line for me. But I appreciate your friendship. Can't you at least pretend to be happy for Auntie Mewan's sake? Why should I? She's your mother. And yet all she cares about is Yoke's happiness. That's rubbish and you know it. It's a fact that Yoke got her happy ending with you. Me? I have nothing. Less than nothing. Oh, you got what you deserve. He manipulated everyone to get what you wanted. 
and ended up hurting Shen. Ask yourself, do you really love Shen? Or did you only want him so Yoke couldn't have him? You want to talk. You like to Yoke to get close to Stephen. To arrest him. You think Yoke could have forgotten that? I'll spend the rest of my life making it up to her. Don't give me that crap. Ella, please stop. Stop your games. If you want to be happy, start afresh. Make amends, form new relationships. Maybe then you'll learn what it means to really love someone other than yourself. Uh, that hits the spot. So, when do you want to go for an hour run? I'm sorry, but we're never running together ever again. But why? We spent more time waiting for our order at the bubble tea shop than actually running. And your idea of running doesn't even qualify as brisk walking. So next time, I'm going solo. Emily. I know who we can use to throw James off. Who? Louis. What? Think about it. He's a Shelly, so James can't touch him. He tried to propose to you at your wedding before, so everyone already thinks he has feelings for you. When Louis did that, he was just trying to help in his own weird way. Which is why it'll be easy for James to believe that you and Louis are having an affair. I can't do that. He's been so kind to me. I know you don't like him, but do we have a choice? James won't hurt Louis. Deep down, he really cares about his siblings, whether they believe him or not. I don't like this, Hall. We shouldn't drag Louis in like this. I just want to say bye. I finished my meeting with finance, they're okay with the figures. Good. That's good. Where are you going now? Just going home. Hmm. Those happy hour pretty soon. Let's um let's go grab a beer. James, you know I never say no to beer. But you've been going for happy hour quite a lot, right? told me you were drinking during the long weekend and throughout the week. No, it's nothing. This helps me clear my mind. And I've been having these, uh... <laughs> I've been having these crazy thoughts. Like what? Like maybe Emily's seeing somebody that I know. You know, somebody who's close to us. Somebody that I trust. How can you hide something from me? Yeah, I didn't know how to break it to you. The one having an affair with family is... Louis. So, so it's not a, it can't be Lewis. Lewis, he's the one who told me about the affair. He was, he was furious about it. Think about it. Lewis proposed to her at your wedding. He was prepared to marry her. He must have had some feelings for her already by then. But then why would he tell me about the affair? Baby felt guilty. He's your brother. Baby felt he was giving you the chance to get your marriage back on track, you know, fix things with Emily. Oh, well, then why wouldn't he just break it off with her? I think it's so easy to just break it off when you're in love. On one hand, you want to do the right thing. On the other, it's so hard to let go. <sighs> I'm sorry, James. No, I... Why are you apologizing? For bringing this bad news to you. Oh. No. No, no, no. Look, you're only doing what I told you to do. You know? Like, Hawk, you've been a true friend. 
Ai, kau go. Take care. Hmm. Tom is Louis. I had no choice. So, any more notes from me? Sorry, I got distracted. I'm halfway through. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, good. One Michael Jackson for you. Thanks, Auntie Mei Wan. I could have done it myself. It's OK. Two Tao Hui for you. Thank you. Hey. Julius, what you want? Tawi, uh, I'll just help myself to Kenos first. Uh, okay, bro? Kenos, yeah. uh, uh, how come uh, today I didn't see your cousin? Uh? Usually around this time, he's here to eat. I don't know. I haven't heard from him either. I just got missing? Just one day. He didn't even bother a text. One day can be a long time, bro. I know. I can't even spend more than eight hours away from CC. So, it was Lewis. Yeah, I should have known. You two are always so close. I even proposed to you at our wedding. <sighs> you should have said yes. I shouldn't have gone ahead with the wedding. I trapped you in this mess, and Louis, too. Oh, how do I fix this? What are you saying? Em, you told me you love him. Like, you and Lewis could have been happy. And maybe Lewis wouldn't have been in so many messy relationships. Maybe we need to end our marriage and you and Lewis can be together. No. Lewis can't afford another scandal. Marrying his brother's ex-wife? That would destroy his future at KSUH. And what about Maxine? She'll be so confused. Please, just leave things the way they are. Is Maxine Lewis's child? Does he know? Please don't tell him. Don't do that to him. He has always considered her yours. Illegal bookies arrested. I know this guy. Bro, you have a gambling problem? No. I I don't know him. But this is the guy that Ajay left with that night. What if Ajay and his bookie friend got mixed up in some shady business and, and he got kidnapped or beaten up or... killed? That's crazy. Think about it. You last saw Ajay 24 hours ago. Since then, there's been silence. There's only one undisputable truth out there. What's that? Only the dead are silent, Kenneth. Better call the police. I'm sorry, Em. What? I said I've never told James that I saw you. You saw me? You went to in the apartment, right? Chateau Le Fleur? That's where you go to meet him. Em, I shouldn't have told James. I shouldn't have. I'm so sorry. But look, no matter what you decide, okay, whether to leave him or not, just know that I'm on your side. I just want you to be happy, okay? Just be happy. Don't cry. Why? Why? Hey. I'm sorry, Louis. I'm really sorry. Why, why are you apologizing to me? I can't. I can't tell you. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to. Okay. You don't have to. It's fine. Everything's. Everything will be fine. Everything will be okay. It'll be fine. Okay. Hey, Hawk. Now you were right. It was Lewis. The whole time. Confirm Jim saw you and Lewis. I feel awful. You'll be okay. James won't touch Lewis. Just bear with it for now. When the time is right, we'll tell everyone the truth. Okay? And when is that? When my business is more stable. 
When Maxine is older, when Charles gets married, has his own family for Ananya, most all from KSUH and won't be affected by the scandal. Then you can finally divorce James and we can be together. No more lies. How are we going to keep up with all these lies, Hawk? We just have to remember, this is all for Maxine. She's staying with you initially tonight. I'm going to pick up tomorrow. Stay tonight? You know I can't. What? Hey, bro. You're not at home. It's late. Your wife is waiting for you. If you can't give her what she wants, you don't close one eye and let her have an affair. What if Emily decides to be with that guy? Nah, it'll fizzle out when she realizes I'm not gonna do anything. I believed you when you said you were gonna work on your marriage. Yeah, but then I figured, what's the point? I'm a Shelley. This is how we do marriages. Screwed up ever after. That's how Dad did it. Doesn't have to be that way. James? Hello? Are you there? Look, not tonight, Louis. Okay? Not tonight. Come on. Only the dead are silent, Kenneth. <sighs> Better call the police. Hello? Ajay, where have you been? I'll tell you later. Cass, I need you to do me a favor. Can you come pick me up? Sure. Where are you? I'm at the police station. I am not a little one. I am a little miss. Well, we should make it a point to include you more frequently. You have bigger gatherings together. Sure. Can we actually go in already? Come on, Maxine. So, you know what, um, I was thinking, there's no point in me knowing who Emma's seeing. What I need to do is take better care of her. It's the right decision. Yeah, and make the most of my time with Maxine. I'm glad you're focusing on the family, not the affair. Yeah.